Oh, everybody has <laughs> at least one somebody in the Bible who just really mm, get on their nerves, just irks them to the point to where they be want to just reach in the Bible and just, uh, right? So, minds will have to be the children of Israel. Because, man, listen, they was just doing too much. They were so ungrateful. They complained all the time. You know, they was always disobedient. You know, they always had something to say. You know, ugh. And I know, you know, uh, certain things they do, you know, kind of uh, relatable, you know. But we ain't going to talk about that right now. <laughs> so listen, Exodus. So in Exodus, right, um, we mess around and we have Moses literally going in that thing to save them and he brings them out um they're in the wilderness right and the next thing you know i mean it was so bad y'all that even god was like i gotta get these folks some commandments because if i'm gonna go any further with them it's like I got to. I got to get them lay down some ground rules because they just all over the place. Like they just. God literally is like, if I don't, they just going to keep doing everything that they want to do. And so, yeah, I'm going to get them a blueprint. I'm going to get them uh, some step by step instructions. That way, if they get this hill wrong, then I just don't even know what to say. And so what they did, what happened was God gives Moses some commandments, 10 to be exact, to go take to them, you know, or whatever. And so one of these commandments, y'all, is like especially for you. This, this one, for real, for real. I mean, you got the Sabbath day, yeah, true, you know, or whatever. But this one, this one right here, um, it cuts so deep if you don't get this thing. And I mean, get it to the point to where your life depends on it because it really does. So, now, listen, it's so popular for people to be talking about side sheets. Everybody always talking about side chicks, this, side chicks, that. Even the goddamn go side chicks be out here talking about they so, right? But we not going to just ignore the fact that it's some side hens, a.k.a. some side men's too, okay? And neither one of it, when you go to that number seven of the commandments, Thou shalt not commit adultery. None of it is right. God loves you too much to ever allow you to be number two when you are supposed to be number one. God say, that's a slap in my face because I put you first, but yet you're, you, you, you cool or you you you're gonna roll over and accept the fact that you're being put second in your mate's life and mate for you to even ever think that it's okay to put your mate second is a no-no baby it's a no-no on all kinds of categories why because watch this 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 was some of y'all blessings going and you walk around here mad watch this God say, and the two become one. God didn't say, and the three become one. God know how to count, too, baby. 
okay? God said, again, and the two become one. Not and the three become one. Uh-uh. Now, here's the thing. God say it is supposed to be something third there, but the only thing you should ever be having a threesome with is me. I'm the third strand, and anytime you take me out of the situation and replace me with another human, you gonna always fail. That is damnation on top of damnation. Why? Because I know, just like the enemy know, that there is power because I bless your union. There is no way that you can be fruitful and multiply without me putting two into one and then me joining that thing so that I can cover it and protect it. So when you out here adding a third person to your marriage, I want you to understand you're releasing your lifeline. I want you to understand you're releasing your covering. You're releasing your covering and you're allowing a fellow human to jump in which makes it which makes it a suicide mission. Because we humans don't stand a chance when it come down to people. We struggle protecting ourselves individually and need God's help. So when you take God at your marriage and you replace it with a human, you ain't doing that but killing something before it's even had a chance to be at its full potential. And that is why... That's why you must understand that this one right here for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because God done said it one too many times. Because listen, listen, God is God. What? You think he make these things and he creates these things and he did all the way he did for him? For him? No, he did it for you because he loves you. He said anytime you go out of order. And, and, and I'm trying to help some people out right now because some people ain't where they supposed to be at in their life. And, and listen, now, I, don't, I ain't really no snitching them, but I, I got to because the Holy Spirit just told me to say it. Husbands, if you've been a good husband to your wife and you feel like there is something stopping y'all union, y'all marriage, y'all marital blessings from moving up. It feels like it's at a standstill. I ain't no snitching that, but you might want to go to God in prayer and cover your wife or vice versa. Wives, if you feel like y'all ain't multiplying and I'm not just talking about where all springs, I'm not talking about where all springs baby, if y'all don't seem to be multiplying properly if you're just adding and you ain't multiplying you might want to go to God in prayer because somewhere along the line, your third strand done been traded in somewhere along the line you done got capped on Number seven is for you. I don't care how handsome and how pretty and how much money and how much influence and how much, because Delilah was the same way. And you see what happened to Samson. I don't care how pretty. I don't care how handsome. I don't care how baby Jezebel was the same way. And you see what happened. Listen, I'm trying to help you get it right. You out here trading your blessings for how stuff looks. You out here, I'm trying to help you get it right. You out here trying to trade your blessings for how something temporarily feels. I'm going to need you to get it right. Your title should let you know. The title that you give them should let them know that they ain't supposed to be side wet. Leave them side chicks alone. Leave them side hands alone. Side chicks, side men. God love you too much to ever make you number two. Get you somebody that's going to make you a number one. I love you and as always, goodbye.